Mr. Fox. I am so lucky to meet him. I have to go and greet him. Hello, Mr. Fox. Oh, I think someone comes. Ugh, it turns out to be a silly cat. Hello, Mr. Fox. What happened to him? Hello, Mr. Fox. How are you? Oh, oh, this silly cat. Who do you think you are? You don't have a right to talk to me. Y you just get out of here. Don't disturb me. I have to take a nap now. Why do you insult me? Don't I deserve to talk to you? <laughs> do you think you deserve to talk to a wise fox like me? What have you learned? What skills do you have? Each kind of animal has their own skill. I also have my own skill. Skill? What kind of skill do you have? I have only one skill. What is it? Climbing trees. When the dog chases for me, I can climb a tree to save my life. How can you call climbing trees a skill? You're so stupid. Have you ever heard about the magic bag? I master hundreds of skills. When I open the bag, I can do everything with my magic. Moreover, I am wise and I can contrive. But you, you're a silly cat. No one knows you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you! Stop it! Get out of here! Don't stand here and disturb me! Oh, he's too bad! Oh my god! Tiger! 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 Open your magic bag! Quickly, open it now! Oh, help me! How can you run away from me? It is so pitiful that I cannot catch that wild cat. You are so wise and skillful. If you only had the ability to climb like me, you may not have been caught. The Story of Rabbit and Turtle <sighs> Mummy, where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. How come you go to the woods so early? I have to go early to look for more food. By the way, you're grown up now. From now on, I'll teach you how to find and pick mushrooms and other veggies too. Oh, lovely, lovely. The wood is not a playground. I'm going to tell you about our family traditions and teach you basic skills to identify vegetables. You have to remember carefully. Yes, mummy. There, after all, our rabbit family are quite famous in the woods. You must learn and continue our good family tradition. There's only one thing we're not so proud to talk about. Years ago, our great-great-grandfather rabbit lost against Turtle in a race. Not once, but twice, too. How could we lose to such a slow turtle, Mummy? I saw him move. It took a day for him to go one step of mine. There, there. That's how we lost, with a manner such as that. Turtle just got lucky. How can they compete with us? But how could it happen twice? The first time we lost as we underestimated the slow turtle. We were playing and even took a nap in the middle of the race. The second is way more shameful, since we still made the same mistake and didn't predict that there was a river on the racetrack. While Turtle kept moving on and played it smart. Mummy, I get it now. I'll prove to the woods that the story where we lose is now history. Well then, go ahead. I put all my hope in you. 
The finish line is that old tree over there. Whoever comes first will be the winner. Start! <laughs> Let's see how he can beat me while I know all his tricks. Patience, swimming, I know it all. <laughs> see who is the winner now? Luck can't stand with you forever, Turtle. <laughs> how about another race, one more time? <laughs> Not giving up, huh, Turtle? So you have learnt new tricks over the last few days? Let's see. The start line is on the edge of the woods and the finish line will be the reeds down the hill. You should go to check first before giving out the answer so soon. I wonder what he is up to. So, the river again. It has a river indeed, but it's still a racetrack. You can figure it out by yourself. Do you dare or not? Fine, I'll take it. As you admit, there's a racetrack. Absolutely. So you accept to take this race, whatever it is? Sure. I'll win on every racetrack. Go on. No need to waste time anymore. Let's tell every animal that Turtle won't win against Rabbit. Rabbit is the king of the race. Then I would like to ask Monkey to be referee again. We'll start racing tomorrow, no matter what. With those short legs and big shell, there's no chance for you to improve. <laughs> Days later. It's flooded out there. Do you know how to swim to race? I'll be fine. I won't let that turtle win. Oh. How could this be? Why did you come so late? It's you who confirmed to take a race, no matter what it is. Strange, though. We have been announcing about this flood since the beginning of the week. This road is flooded every time it rains. I thought you knew how to deal with it before accepting to compete with Turtle. What? Ha! Turtle wins! Winner! Yeah. Lost. Again. What a fate. It's not fate at all. Your great grand ancestor lost because he was so confident, and you follow his footsteps. Arrogance is the source of all losing, after all. <laughs> <laughs>